This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Sight, trees, and bushes. So we've made a topography, but if we were to look out the window, so let's go into our interior 3D view. You can see there's the site right there, the topography, but still there's no trees. If we were to render, it would just sort of look like it's falling off the face of the earth there. Let's go to the site. I'm going to go to massing and site. And notice here beside topo surface, you have site component. Looks a lot like a tree to me. So let's click on that. And what you'll get is a representational view of a tree. You can see in the properties palette, they look kind of like cardboard cutouts. But when they render, they look like trees. Now you can pick these from the list. So I can go down here and pick the basic type of tree. You also have the ability to load more trees. Those are found under the Imperial Library and then planting. And then you can pick the general style of tree. Is it coniferous, deciduous, fall, tropical? And we can pick that type. Now if I were to bring in uh, conifer or coniferous, let's just load those in. We're going to have a whole bunch of these types of trees, junipers, spruce, pine. Now I might pick a spruce and say, okay, let's zoom in here and just start adding those in. These are just your typical landscaping style of representation in plan and as well as in elevation. So now there's a huge one here. This is a yellow pine. Could maybe place that right there. So let's click on our 3D view while we're placing these. So you can see here, that's a 90 meter tree, huge. So you probably don't have one of those in your backyard. If you do, you're lucky. Now I can click on that tree and then I can change it. That's a change. Okay, there's one there. And then we can even copy them around. Now what's interesting about this, Let's go to copy. Let's go to copy multiple. What's interesting about this is these trees, they automatically know their height. So I'm going to orbit my view. Notice what we have here. These trees know that they're supposed to be right on the site. So if there's any change in the site elevation, they'll adjust themselves accordingly big time saver. Let's go to our interior view. So now you can see in the distance there's some trees. Of course you can bring in bushes and shrubs and they have some flowering bushes and things like that which really help out to the overall appeal. So let's go back to the site plan. Now why am I putting these trees in? And that's something you sort of have to ask yourself when you're designing. Am I putting these in to show the trees that are already there on the site? Am I showing them to propose new trees? Or is this purely just a rendering exercise? I just want to make it so when I look out the windows, it just doesn't look like blank sky. That's something you have to ask yourself. If it's going to be just purely rendering style, you just want them so they fill up some space, then there are some best practices and you might call them tips and tricks in order to control them so you can turn them off very quickly. And that's something that we can talk about in later courses, later videos on how to be able to take all of your rendering things and separate them, turn them off so they don't get in the way of your actual plans.